Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be making the Tesseract in honor of Loki coming out next week. I am super excited. Um, Loki is one of my favorite MCU characters, so I thought it would be like a fun craft to make just to prepare for the show coming out. So the Tesseract, if you didn't know, um, there are going to be some spoilers in this video, so just skip a little bit if you don't want spoilers, I guess. So the Tesseract has the Space Stone, so I'm just basically going to be making it with some materials I bought this morning and some materials I have around the house. Um, so the Tesseract, how that relates to Loki is that he had it and then in Endgame when the Avengers went back in time to get the two Infinity Stones that were there, they did not get the Tesseract because they opened up a wormhole in time that allowed Loki to escape and he stole the Tesseract. So he went to 2014 um, in a different universe, so the Tesseract is very involved in Loki's story, I guess, so that is why I'm going to be making it today. So let me show you what I got. So first I have this like batting to kind of mute the tone of the light. Um, I already had this just in the craft area in the basement. Next I got this three and a half by three and a half inch um, transparent photo cube that I got at Michael's. So this, I think it like comes out into two pieces um, and then like I'll be able to put the stuff inside and close it back up. Next I got this frosted glass spray paint. It says cleared semi-transparent finish. It's from Rust-Oleum so hopefully that works. Then last I have this little light that um, we had for our old camper and it just like turns on. You can either press it like that's, you can press it and it changes colors. So that's the blue, that's what it'll be on. But it also has a remote, except there are three other lights that go with it, so I have to keep the batteries out of those ones if I want to use the remote. So I can turn it on like that and then just hit blue. So I hope this one is going to work because I don't really want to spend money to buy more lights when I already have some. So the first thing to do is to open this up and go outside and spray both the inside and the outside with this frosted glass spray paint. So I'm going to open this up and I will see you guys outside. I think that looks good. It might need to be patched up a little bit, but I'm gonna put it out in the sun to dry and we'll finish up this project. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. So I finished the Tesseract and I think it looks awesome, so I'm going to show you it with all the lights off. Okay, ready, ta-da! I think it looks so cool and it's like really bright too, um, a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little montage showing you guys it, but here's my Tesseract. So I really love how the Tesseract turned out. I think it looks really great and really realistic. Of course, it's kind of hard to do like the different varying color tones in it. Um, like how there's darker blues and lighter blues and it kind of like 
is always moving so I think this is a really good um, representation I guess of how the Tesseract looks in the movies so let me know what you guys think of it um also another cool thing about having this remote is that I can do red or green or white also of course blue is more um accurate and I like the look of it better but it's just really cool how I can um, change the color of it with this and I can also set a timer so if I was going to go to bed and I wanted it on for 10, 30, 60, or 120 minutes then I can have it on like that. So yeah let me know also if you guys are going to attempt this project. It was super easy and it only cost me nine dollars with the photo cube and the spray paint. Um, it would be a little more expensive for people who have to buy the um, light itself but thankfully I already had one so yeah make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts. There will be a lot of Marvel slash Loki content in the coming weeks um, with Loki's show coming out. Um, also make sure to check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!